I'd like to welcome Monty Metzger, the CEO and founder of LCX, to the stage. Thank you very much. Join me in a round of applause. What if I told you we're at the brink of a very unique moment in time? The end of financial markets as we know it. What if I told you that all the old structures we've been building for decades are being reshaped right in front of our eyes? Blockchain, tokenization, digital assets and DeFi are all gaining massive momentum. We're witnessing the start of a new crypto super cycle. A crypto super cycle which is redefining value, trust and also capital flows all around the world. So that's why today I'm talking about the crypto super cycle and how to empower Cardano startups. My talk is structured in three ways. First I want to talk about the most important company in the world, freedom of wealth and the crypto super cycle. Let's dive right in but be first I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Monty Metzger. I'm founder and CEO of LCX. LCX stands for the Liechtenstein Crypto Assets Exchange. I'm an entrepreneur by heart. I started my first company in 1998 while I still had been at school programming websites. And since then I had been hooked to digital and been in that space um, yeah, since, since then. I founded LCX in Liechtenstein, but also Timons. Um, platform to photogonization of diamonds and Masterdex, our DeFi spin out. I'm known as a futurist. Also, I've been doing a lot of venture scouting for VCs and then incorporated my own venture capital fund called Digital Leaders Ventures, where we invested in startups all over the world Europe, Nordics, and uh, uh, MENA region, as well as in US. And last but not least, um, we're giving back, so with our foundation now in Switzerland, we're supporting a lot of arts and sports um, for good projects at the moment. I also wrote two books. One is called Blockchain Banking, The Future of Money and Finance, and one is being published very soon called Tokenization, The Trillion Dollar Asset Revolution. So we've certainly done some, top, some research on the topics. So why did I put this here on the slide, the most important company in the world? We had a guest early 2019 in Liechtenstein, which will be here on stage as well very soon, Don Tapscott. He's an advisor, a long-term friend of mine. I know him since uh, his book, Wikinomics, uh, early 2000, I think even pre-iPhone ages. And while he had been there at our stage in Liechtenstein, he was saying LCX is one of the most important companies in the space and in the world. So let me show you why. LTX, at a glance, it's a next generation crypto exchange. We are one company and one home. Um, so we are operating out of Liechtenstein and one company is quite unique if you look at other uh, crypto exchanges and how they are set up. Um, because we doubled down in the European ecosystem. It was founded in April 2018 and we have a shared capital of a million Swiss francs. Last public valuation was around 500 million US dollars. We're headquartered in Vaduz and uh, are roughly 100 full-time employees at the moment. We are called the hidden champion because we always had been focusing on crypto compliance since start. From day one, there's uh, kind of no lack of uh, track record of, of compliance in our KYC since start. And this always had been holding us back a lot uh, because there had been other crypto exchanges who didn't care about regulation, and didn't care about crypto compliance. But we did, and but this will be changing now as we are entering a legal framework in, in Europe. And I will tell you now uh, later why uh, we have an unfair advantage. We are also segregating the funds 100%. Um, we have offered the first legal token sales solution where LCX becomes the token issuer for projects, which makes a huge difference because we can register the token sale for the projects and we've done so also for Nmaker and many other Cardano projects um, in, in that regard and then also launched it on our launchpad. And we've done tokenization or we're enabling tokenization with a legal role called the physical validator. This is a worldwide very unique structure um, where we are like a notary 
guaranteeing and being legally liable that the underlying asset which you put in a token actually is there that it's not stolen borrowed or under debt that it's stored in a secure way and this is embedded in the law and so if you're buying any of the tokenized assets we're publishing or tokenizing on the blockchain you have a legal right to enforce it in the court in Liechtenstein so we call ourselves a new category leader category leader in bridging traditional finance and blockchain innovation uh, at the moment we are one of the fastest growing crypto exchanges in Europe because people are seeking for a regulated secure and trusted entity enough about me and LCX we want to empower Cardano startups that's why we're here we have a whole week of celebration of the Cardano ecosystem and the reason why we can do that is we invested early in Cardano in the infrastructure. We're running several nodes. We built the whole infrastructure for Cardano native tokens. So we can list any Cardano native asset quickly. And as you know, as any developer, with every transaction, when you do a withdrawal from a centralized entity, you always need to send in a little bit of ADA as gas fee as well. It's complicated, not as easy as implementing an ERC-20. But we've done the hassle and overcome this to uh, make it happen and now we're doing a listing festival uh, this week with a lot of new tokens coming to LCX exchange we also do Cardano native tokens registered ICOs so initial token offerings where we can prove and also uh, get a legal um, statement from the regulator saying this is not a security it's a utility token or governance token and we can register the token on behalf of the project so it's a legal kind of protection for the startup founders who fully want to focus on the product on attack and don't want to care about the legal costs and uh, and also the like legal setup that's what we are handling and with nmaker uh, we i think it was one of the most successful projects cardano projects on our platform they raised a million dollars within the first couple of minutes and then several millions uh, in the in the first week when they then closed it we're also doing this cardano native listing festival with five tokens this week um, so snack the strong um, meme coin community but also meld and some other tokens being listed right now and we're talking to a lot of other community members right now who we should list as well Last but not least, we are also offering $250,000 in a prize money to the Battle of the Builders. I've been part of the jury this morning and we will be announcing the winners tomorrow at the gala in a festive environment. Uh, so we're doing investment into the startups. We are providing a listing at LCX's regulated exchange and we're providing market making packages around it. And last but not least, for the Cardano community, we are providing now VIP support. So if you are anyone depositing ADER, NMaker, or any Cardano native token, just reach out to our team at hello at lcx.com, or there's a little chat box, and you will get premium support. I talked about tokenization, but what we really do um, is a project called Timeit. And this is tokenizing a real-world asset in this case, diamonds. And we started with this as a showcase, kind of a proof of concept in the first place, but now it became the largest tokenized diamonds marketplace in the world. There's more than 14,000 diamonds as we speak on the platform growing every day. And we are uh, not only tokenizing it and, uh, and selling it on the marketplace, but we are also responsible um, with LCX of the custody. So we're storing it in Liechtenstein. We are insuring it for free and um, we're making sure that the uh, assets are safeguarded the right way physically and also digitally in a way so one nft is one diamond and we're now expanding with different other assets so there's more to be announced what we do um, but with the diamond marketplace uh, we're really revolutionizing how diamonds are traded especially if you are a broker if you are a collector or um, investing in diamonds investable grade diamonds this is probably 2% of the global diamond market as of now, but it's a growing element because the real rare diamonds, the top quality, top um, uh, clarity, cut and color are the ones you want to be investing in. And if you buy them, you would need to pay shipping, then you would need to store them in your own vault. You need to worry about insurance 
um, and so on, and this we all sold. So you can basically buy uh, the NFT as an ownership certificate and then own it, gift it to somebody, trade it, um, sell it, uh, or just keep it, right? So this is all about um, what we do. Now I want to talk about freedom of wealth. And we had another guest, one of our advisors, called Jimmy Wells, the founder of Wikipedia, here at the reception at the World Economic Forum uh, last year, actually, in January, where he said, Elsic's mission embodies a shift from the freedom of knowledge to the freedom of wealth. Just as Wikipedia democratized knowledge, Elsic is creating a space where transparency, innovation, empower individuals in the crypto world. And how do we do that? We're home in Liechtenstein. And Liechtenstein stands for a lot of financial wealth and freedom. First of all, it stands for heritage. 300 years or more older, it says the von Liechtenstein family, who is really uh, one of the richest family offices in the world. We are, uh, it's the highest GDP in the world. Uh, by far, sometimes it's mixed up with Switzerland in the statistics because Liechtenstein is quite small, only 38,000 population. But it is also one of the most secure places, so that's why also Alex Carbet, the, the rumors that he became uh, a resident there as well, but you know, even the prime minister doesn't need a, uh, a parade of police cars, he just comes with his bicycle. And integrity, trusted legal system with crypto laws embedded. And that's the unfair advantage I'm, I've been mentioning before. L6 is regulated since the start with compliance and now since January 2020 also with eight registered roles according to the Blockchain Act, what's called a TVGG, Trusted Technology um, Service Provider, where we had been getting more registrations than anybody else in the country and not only regulating one piece of the puzzle like the exchange but also the physical validator, price service provider, uh, identity service provider and so on. Liechtenstein is also uh, made our users very proud because having a bank account over there is something you can be very privileged and now we're enabling that for our users as well. Liechtenstein is also part of the European Economic Area and it's a crypto powerhouse. Europe is the second largest crypto market worldwide accounting for more than 20% of global trading volume and it's home to 450 million people um, in 30 countries. And because of the European Parliament, we are introducing now the Markets and Crypto Assets Regulation, the first legal framework, pan country, pan European wide, which enables us to have one home and one license to operate all over Europe. Very unique, and that's what why we're doubling down on the jurisdiction. So now I want to come to my third part, the crypto super cycle. And in a few minutes, there will be one of our uh, long-time friends and, and an early advisors at LCX on stage, Yatsui. And when he was at our office here 2018, we were starting with a vision, right? A vision to um, outperform all the crypto market, um, what we've seen, because the broader vision of LCX is not only about crypto as you know it, but really about the next crypto super cycle. Let me explain you why. So what we've seen and what had been talked about recently is this meme coin super cycle. Um, you have roughly 100 billion uh, in assets at the moment now and probably in the future 10x of it. So sounds exciting, right? But with blockchain, Super, with the blockchain super cycle, talking about layer ones, layer twos, we're already uh, like having seen a much larger impact, including Cardano making a big impact on that as well. And uh, of course, the Bitcoin super cycle, now roughly valued at $1.3 trillion, right? So uh, I, I assume we might 10x that, right? Uh, it could be even $500,000 per Bitcoin or um, $10 trillion in value. But this is nothing compared to the talk, to crypto super cycle I'm talking about. I'm talking about something which is 10 times, 20 times, 100 times bigger. And I want to tell you why. There are a few drivers for this crypto super cycle. And the vision we had back then in the office 2018 is we thought we need to enable it that it's the 
like bigger players can enter. So we need a, a playing field um, with a legal clarity. And for this, we chose Europe. And now with Mika, we, we really have that. Um, second, we want institutional adoptions, adoption. So there's, first of all, a consolidation which will happen in Europe in terms of crypto exchanges. Now we are battling against hundreds, so I, I said we are the hidden champion, but this will change a lot because only the ones with a license as of next, early next year will be able to operate. All the others need to leave the market. Um, this includes also certain stable coins or tokens, um, so everything will be like reshuffled, the new players entering. But also institutional players, I mean banks, uh, central banks, there are tokenized bonds, there's like a lot of transactions being handled on chain. And so probably in 10 years or 15 years, this such a conference won't be called the blockchain conference anymore because blockchain is embedded in everything we do in the financial systems like the internet the, like nobody's talking about HTTP anymore right like or Wi-Fi you're just connected and last but not least tokenization we're tokenizing diamonds we might be doing other assets very soon but the whole financial markets are being tokenized as well and this has a tremendous impact and what impact it could have is first of all there will be a next generation of crypto exchanges i told you i've been in futurist so i had been looking at all different kind of life cycles of technologies from like the early social media times where friendster and myspace had been pioneers and when myspace was there were 500 million users nobody could imagine that there's something coming with which is bigger and then facebook came along had so much power 2007 they had been launching with all these universities and then opened up and now i mean you all know what happened but these are like first and second generation of technology companies and so it will be here they had been the pioneers of crypto exchanges enabling the markets they didn't care about rules or regulation. They just want to make it happen technology-wise. And now there's a, a next wave of, of platforms coming. And in terms of tokenization and overall the crypto super cycle, how much money are we talking about? I mean, if you look at cryptocurrencies, $2 trillion, gold, $12 trillion, whole money market supply, $60 trillion stock market 9500 $9, trillion dollars let's say but there's also debt right derivatives um future markets this is massive 300 trillion dollars all of that will be put on the blockchain middlemen will be taken out of the system because they're not necessary anymore if we talk to traditional exchanges they talk about settlements who's your settlement who's your custody provider we have all embedded that in the blockchain self-custody decentralized finance or uncentralized platforms so to sum up um we're talking about innovation so through partnerships with cardano ltx is enabling tokenization of real world assets and we're leading a new wave of blockchain innovation we're creating a resilience uh, by prioritizing compliance lcx ensures long-term sustainability and security in evolving regulatory landscape and growth. LTX regulatory framework attracting institutional investors and high-value projects like many here in the audience. So I spoke about the most important company in the world, freedom of wealth and the crypto super cycle and I want to end with an invitation to Liechtenstein. Feel free to reach out to me. You should visit this little beautiful country which is making so much noise about the crypto industry. Thank you very much.